Hello and welcome to a new series called PSP Classics. This series will be focused on the PlayStation Portable and its many, many awesome games. The PlayStation Portable was released in 2004 and was essentially a slimmed down PlayStation 2 um, that allowed many PlayStation properties to be played for, for the first time portably. The PSP, especially in comparison to the DS, had um, many, many great RPGs. This was a system that you really had to own if you were an RPG lover. Um, in addition to that, it would also play PlayStation 1 original games, and um, many games um, for the PlayStation 2 um, were actually ported and um, sort of converted to work in a portable fashion, and vice versa. Um, the PSP is just really a great system, and I think that a lot of its games um, need to be showcased. So in this first episode, I'm going to be showcasing easily one of my favorites. Now, I should mention that to record these videos, I'm using my PSP um, to HDMI um, linking converter, which I've done a video review of previously, so check out that if you have any interest in playing PSP games on a big screen TV. Alright, so let's get it going. This game was released in 2005, developed and published by Capcom. Capcom. This is Mega Man Powered Up. Mega Man Powered Up is essentially a brand new remake of the very Let's first go. Mega Man game. Ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Fitting the classic series, um, Capcom chose to go with a 2.5D cheesy style that, uh, that is really, really awesome. In addition to being the original Mega Man game, this has so much more than just that. Um, it also has a brand new construction mode, which is essentially a level editor, which allows you to make your own stages, which is just mind-blowing. It's so awesome to be able to do that. Um, it has all of the content from the original Mega Man, and in addition to that, that's not all. It also has um, two brand new Robot Masters introduced to bring the, bring the first roster of, of Robot Masters up to eight. You have the original six, and you also have Time Man and Oil Man. In addition to that, um, beating certain criteria um, when you fight the bosses, you can actually unlock the bosses to play as them, which is just so damn awesome. You can also play as Roll, and if you unlock um, all of the bonuses and you know beat the game under extreme difficulties and do all of the time trials and all that shit. You can also unlock Proto Man, which is just really, really cool. So, I don't even know who to play as to showcase this. Um, how about um, Fireman here? How about um, going after one of the new Robot Masters? I'll be. Fireman versus Oil Man, which is like, you know, a fair fight. Not really. It's showtime! Each of the robot masters plays differently than Mega Man. And each other, too. The main thing that's going on here is that, um, is, is that each of the Robot Masters only have their uh, basic ability. Fireman only has the Firestorm. Each of the Robot Master's abilities are all different from each other, um, the game can become more or less challenging depending on who you play as. Some blocks can only be moved by certain Robot Masters, and others can't do anything with them. Fire 
Fire Man has the benefit of being completely immune to fire damage. But if he's submerged in water, Fire Man becomes weaker. The basic stage designs are pretty damn unique and brand new to the series. Um, the first game um, had, you know, rather basic level designs because it was fairly early in the NES's life. But um, as the series would go on, you know, it would have more elaborate stages. Now, Mega Man Powered Up sort of has a mix of sort of both. Um, there is the, both the original game's um, levels that are just, you know, as sparse as they were originally for the NES. And there's also the new arranged mode, which allows um, the game to have a little bit more variety. Some blocks, such as these blocks right here, can only be um, broken by certain robot masters. Here I need Guts Man. I love this game. Alright. Made it. And it's time for some awesome band work. Somewhere else if you want oil. Don't make me have to hurt you, because fire's not allowed around here. Your tanks just add more fuel to the flame! Prepare to get smoked! Why you? <laughs> well, burn yourself out. I've got my orders to follow. Yeah! It's showtime! Of course, that was against, you know, his weakness, um, Oil Man's weakness is Fireman, so... Nice job! Keep up. Of course that was easy, but as it goes on, you know, it, um, the game becomes more or less difficult. Um, fighting, you know, Oil Man was easy, but going after, say, Iceman would be very difficult. Against Iceman, um, his attacks do twice as much damage to you, and your attacks do half as much damage to him. Go in the water, and I'm now powered down. My Firestorm can no longer launch the Fire Flame attack. bring it back to the end of the video. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.